how did you get with Top Gun? Well, they did a, what's called a cattle call. Uh, that was a Bruckheimer Simpson movie. And they had every pop act in the business was coming to see a screening of Tom Cruise's new movie. This was like his second movie. Um, Risky Business was the breakthrough, right? And so everybody knew that Cruise was going to take off. So they had a powerful you know, opportunity to get the biggest act. So I, I went with my writing partner and we saw the movie and I said, let's not compete with those opening credits. Let's write for the volleyball scene. Nobody's going to write for that. So we'll get a song in the movie. So we did. We wrote a song called Playing With The Boys. And I was in the studio recording Playing With The Boys when I got a call from Giorgio Moroder who had written the bulk of Danger Zone and and quite a few of the songs in Top Gun. And he said, uh, I've got to put a voice on this song. And the band I had, uh, the lawyers killed the deal. So I have no singer for this song. So he has Danger Zone now, but he needs a singer. He needs a singer. And And it wasn't supposed to be me. It was supposed to be Jefferson Starship. But they got pulled out of the project. So... um, so he knew I was in the studio down the street. So this is how it works, right? You think this is like somebody thought about this? No, <laughs> I'm in the studio, and he says, do you want to sing my song? I said, well, is it up-tempo? Because I've been writing nothing but ballads, and I need something up-tempo. He says, yeah, it rocks. OK, I'll be right there. I didn't listen to it. I came inside unseen. I made ready. a few changes to it, rewrote a little lyric, rewrote, added some chords. We recorded it. I'm glad you told me that story, because I thought Tom Cruise picked you out of the crowd and said, write me a song or sing, me, sing this song. No, no, maybe this next one, though. I've been seeing some of the ads for the remake, and, uh, and Danger Zone is still a major part of the ads, so I'm excited about that. But right. disco music came in, but you said thanks to songwriting for the movies, you were able to do an in run around disco. Around the disco era. And so Footloose... Caddyshack, Top Gun, those movies came along and uh, my 80s career took off. Whereas a lot of 70s acts, because I started in 71, a lot of 70s acts were disappearing by then. And, but the movie thing just took my career to another level. That's, again, it's incredible luck. Let's talk movie soundtracks. I mean, you have written and played on some of the best movie soundtracks out there. Uh, Obviously, Look Who's Talking To. (laughs) (laughs) You did. I got you. I got you there. You are featured on that one. (laughs) Um, But no, truly, I mean, the Top Gun anthem. That's like my holy grail of all movies, first off. I love me. I love Top Gun. And I don't know how this escaped me um, that I I never knew that you, that that was you on guitar. Yeah, we actually won a Grammy for that. Um, You know, you you know, life is funny that way. You can never predict things. The way that happened was that uh, when we did Whiplash Smile, the third Billy Idol record, Harold Faltermeyer came in to play keyboards. Harold was doing movie scores, and he was uh, friends with our producer, Keith Forsey. And uh, so Harold's working, you know, and he says, oh, you know, let me play you something. And he, this is the days of uh, Betamax, you know, and he puts the, <laughs> takes me in the lounge and puts the, the, uh, the tape in there and shows me, you know, some footage. He said, this is this movie I'm working on with Tom Cruise. It's called Top Gun. It's about the training school. And, and at that time, those Jet fighter scenes were state of the art. I mean, now, mm-hmm. now we're so used to CGI and all this kind of stuff. But I went, wow, that's amazing, you know. And uh, literally, they were little models. Like, <laughs> you know. um, but he said, I have this theme, and, and would you be willing to, you know, take a crack at it? So we, you know, after, it was a weekend. We had finished the Billy Idol session, and uh, we put the multi track on for Top Gun. And I think the whole session took me two hours. And I kind of forgot about it. It was a kind of afterthought, and you know, and uh, he seemed very happy with it. And then, lo and behold, um, you know, uh, he calls me and from Germany, where he lived, and says, "We're going to get, we're nominated for a Grammy." And I thought, "Oh, that's that's nice." He goes, "We're going to win. This is my Grammy for Top Gun." Oh, and, Brad. Yeah, and they've changed the design, but um, it was. Um, 
You know what it was for, for me? I'm not a big self celebrate, self congratulatory type of person, but for my parents, it was payback for the pain and suffering of having to hear me play my guitar for the first four years. <laughs> you know, what they went through, to, <laughs> um, it wasn't pretty. Can we get a close up of that Grammy? Yeah, let's Bring see it. here. Let's give it some, some little love, so, let's see that. Oh see. yeah. There we go. Nice. The funny thing about, and the Grammy, the Grammy organization wasn't too pleased with me because I went on, when, you, now I don't know if they've changed this policy. I'm going to get in trouble again. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so when you go up to accept the award, that's not the award that you get to bring home. At least okay, it wasn't it's like a dummy, I, right? Right. So this, I'm like, when's my Grammy going to arrive? This box arrives and I got to put it together with a screwdriver. <laughs> it's like an Ikea. And, uh, and I went on the, my neighbor at the time, uh, Lisa E., Lisa Edelstein, who's an actress, uh, had a morning show on MTV, and I went on and, and um, assembled my Grammy on TV. Uh, they weren't pleased about that, so apologies. But I just thought it was hysterical that it was like, like a, you know, model cars that you Sure, put yeah, a Lego set. And then Lego. you said this. Yes. Well, yeah. I, I'm sure there's a lot of non-disclosures and stuff, so I'm sorry if I'm asking a question that we're not allowed to talk about, but the, the new Top Gun movie is coming out. Do you know if they're licensing the theme song? and Will we be hearing it again? Will... Um, I think they, yeah, I think they are. I know Harold is working with Hans Zimmer, so the two of them. Um, and uh, the last conversation I had, uh, I gave him my blessing to use my guitar tracks and however they want, yeah. Awesome. Well, yeah. you know, Steve, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Um, for those of you that want to uh, stalk you, obviously you have all of your social media links um, and obviously the string revolution and your crazy train um, rendition is definitely something worth a Google. Great. Yeah. Thank you this, so much. Yeah. Great to see you.